These are the communal bathrooms. There are four sinks total, two on each side of the wall, as well as toilet and shower stalls. And even though there are only four sinks, personally, I've never had an issue with needing to wait for a space to get ready. But if there ever were an issue, it's super easy to hop on to any of the floors in the building to find an empty space. This is the laundry room. Every dorm at UCLA and every dorm that is going to be shown in this video has a laundry room that looks pretty much exactly the same as this. So we're just going to put this overview at the beginning of the video. We don't show it for every room in this video, but every building floor has a lounge where anyone can come, hang out, study, or just get out of their room for a little bit. First up, we have Sproul Hall, which is home to the classic triple. Something super fun about the UCLA dorms is that every floor has a theme selected by the RA and the entire floor is decorated by the RA as well. This floor is Animal Crossing themed. Starting with the classic triple, there are two full-sized closet combinations. So um, there's a closet that has a couple of drawers and some storage space shown here. And right next to each one, um, there is a closet section that allows you to hang clothes. And then the third roommate in the room is going to get a slightly smaller hanging closet shown later as well as two drawers that are below the bunk bed. Here are the two drawers that are underneath the bed and they actually are really deep. They go pretty far back, so there is plenty of room. Above each of the full-size closets, there are some overhead storage spaces, so two overhead storage bins total. The room also comes with three desks. The one shown here is extended. You can choose to have the desk lengthened in order to have more tabletop space. Shown here, there's also a fridge. The fridge does not come with the dorm. You either have to bring your own fridge or rent a micro fridge through UCLA. And then right here is the smaller hanging closet space as mentioned earlier. So obviously we have the two beds that are side by side. And then we each have a set of drawers. And then this is a mini fridge that we bought for ourselves. And then we get like a nice little like hanging spot. Um, up here we have a light, which works. And then this is the closet. So every UCLA dorm is pretty much standard size closet. Um, yeah, so you have a good amount of space underneath and then you have obviously a good amount. I would say it's like an arm's length and a half. And then you also have this up area and then this is the mirror. Um, it's kind of tiny, so my roommate and I bought a mirror, which is this one that we bought. <clears throat> um, anyways, so yeah, then we have our bed. We had them raise it to high. So this is the high level because we wanted to have room underneath the bed. 
so we have some storage. Obviously I have a lot of stuff underneath. Um, and then, yeah, so then for desk space, it looks a little cluttered, but you actually get a good amount of space. Um, they come with these like shelf type thing. And so you get a good amount of storage space with those. Um, so obviously you have a good amount of room for your computer and just like anything else that you might need. And then you have your three drawers. So this one is pretty, these are all very spacious. Um, this desk is pretty standard for most of the UCLA dorms. Um, this one is kind of bigger. And then you have like a little slide out table as well for anything else that you need. And then, so this is kind of my roommate's side. She also has the three drawers. And when you open it up, you get a good amount of space for clothes or anything else that you wanna store. Each drawer is about the same, an arm's length. Um, and then she has the same standard desk that I have. And same bed. And then obviously we both have the same closet. So hers is a lot more organized than mine. But yeah, again, like storage underneath. You have your closet area and then you have the storage above. And then I'll show you. Her mirror is just as small as mine for this one. That is why we bought one. And then every dorm comes with the two trash cans, which we have our personal like small trash bins though, so we don't really use them. And then we have this cute little bulletin. Um, so yeah, that is a deluxe double. And then obviously the windows, they don't fully open, but we get a pretty good um, amount of air circulation through here and our view isn't bad. So we get the sunlight more at the end of the day. Being one of the most spacious dorm types, the suite has a private common area um, for yourself, your roommates, and your suite mates. So that is a living room for six people total. And it does come with all of the furniture shown. So you get a couch, lounge chairs, coffee table, and a dining area. The suite is honestly like an apartment, so you'll see that there are some miscellaneous hallway closets um, that can be used for clothes or storage. Some of them have a um, bar for hanging stuff and some of them have shelves inside. Suites have two bedrooms with two to three people each, and so this is a triple. There are three bunk bed style beds, three desks, two dressers, which were actually in the living room, um, and three closets.
suites also have a shared bathroom area between the six people. So there is a toilet room, a shower room, and two sinks. When you enter, there's a hallway, and on one side, there are two closets with two dressers inside of closets, and on the other side, there is the bathroom door. So this is the private bathroom. Over here, there are two towel racks, and right next to it is the toilet area. Above the toilet is a shelf and an outlet. Then there are two mirrors, and both of these mirrors pull out to be um, shelves and storage. And then there's a sink, and underneath the sink, there's actually a lot of room um, for storage. And then here's the shower. Some showers have um, a door, and some have a rod for a curtain. This one has a curtain rod. And over on the side, there are three hooks for hanging towels. Welcome to my room. I live in Riba Vista in a plaza double with a shared bathroom. This right here is a little hallway and this is the bathroom door over here. We've got our closets on the right side. This is probably one of the biggest dorm types that you see at LA. Like, I could do a whole workout in here. And right here is our room this is my roommate's side she has a lot of cute photos up with her desk and her bed over there and this is my side i have a really cute um, cloud light over there and this is my bedspread here's my desk over here We each get a desk as well, and I've got some cute decor over here on the shelf that's given. Got um, a place to put all my makeup and jewelry. And on this side, I added some command hooks so I could hang my purses and my hat. I have a skincare fridge over here. And included with this desk, you get three drawers on the side. And this is my bed over here. I hung up some cute photos in the back. I got a cute little cloud neon light, lots of pillows. And down here, there's a lot of space underneath the bed. I put my shoes and some other boxes in my backpack. 
and right here we each get our own little dresser slash nightstand i have a cute little whale slappable light over there and in these drawers i put a lot of my clothes and i also get a really nice view of reber hall from my room now let's take a look inside the bathroom Overall, this bathroom is very large. There's one sink over here and one on the other side as well. Four people can be in the bathroom at the same time, all doing different things. This is a bathroom that I share with three other people. There's a cute little mirror over here. Got a lot of counter space to keep all your stuff. And inside here is some storage. Um, I have a lot of my lotions and soaps up there. There's a separate room right here for the toilet and we have a lot of hooks to hang our towels on. And inside the shower, there's also two more racks to keep your towels on and a little space to keep all of your soaps. Even though the RAs are in charge of putting up the decorations, this drawing of Blaziken is actually courtesy of my amazing, talented roommate and is our little bit of decoration in front of our own dorm. So the first thing that you see when you enter the room is this little hallway leading into the room. And over here we have two trash cans and this is the door to the bathroom. It's really nice because we have a full length mirror and not every room gets a full length mirror, but I think that the, um, dorms with the shared or private bath come with the mirror and then right here we have a little towel rack um it could be a rack for anything but we put our facial towels on there along this wall then there are two full-length closets to the side this is my closet and they're actually really surprisingly spacious um up here i have three storage bins you'll see when i open the other side and i just use that for storage then i have i put some command hooks to hang my tote bags all of my hanging clothes and down there is my laundry hamper and some other things that i store on the right side i have a hanging shoe rack there's another bin and i just keep all of my shoes socks and other things um and then down here i just put another little bin for some of my trinkets. All six of us in the roommate group were friends already, so we don't really divvy up the sides of the bathroom, we just share the entire sink space. This is our door. There are three hooks for our towels and there are double hooks that can hang multiple things. And then even though we have a ton of storage space, this is my little cart because I have just a ton of products and it looks a little awkward because it's kind of in front of the door, but it doesn't get in the way of anything. Um, so that's right there. And then we have this really nice long mirror with great lighting, which is really cool. We have a double sink and we just have three baskets for some countertop storage our soap dispensers and then you can see we have a lot of storage underneath the sink some of these are actually double shelves um which is really nice and so there is a lot of um space quite a few drawers there are four outlets and these mirrors also act as extra storage both of the mirrors come out what i really like about the shared bath as opposed to the private bath is that there are um, separate spaces for the shower and bathroom so that multiple people can use it at the same time. That trash can didn't come with the bathroom. We got that from Target, just have a little trash can outside of the bathroom. But this one in the toilet area um, did come with the room. And then we just have a pretty spacious area. Next for the shower room, we have our little bath mat. 
There is a towel rack and double hooks here. And then we actually put some command hooks just to hang clothes um, for when we get into the shower. And then we have this little cart full of our products because we have six people. Um, we like to put some of the products there because there isn't enough room to always store them inside the shower. And then this is what the inside of the shower looks like. We put some command hooks up there as well for all of our loofahs. And then you can see that there are two shelves, um, which is why we have our cart outside. Going back into the room, you can see here both of my roommate's sides. And on this side of the room starts my kind of chaotic wall. You can see that I really love posters and was kind of going for a more maximalist vibe. I absolutely love putting stickers and pins up on my wall, so definitely comment below if you see references to any books that you've read and liked. This is my roommate Sarah's side of the room, and she's really into art, so she has some really beautiful art prints and postcards up on her wall. Moving over to this side, you will start to see my roommate Sonia's area of the room. So my roommate with the bottom bunk, um, which is underneath my top bunk bed, gets this desk area and she was gracious enough because she has less clothes to take the slightly smaller closet and underneath her bed, there are two drawers. So she has um, a total of two drawers and the smaller closet, which is much less space than my roommate and I have, um, but she said she was fine with it. So we are very lucky. Over here's our fridge area and also where one of my roommates and I both have three drawers and two dressers. This is a micro fridge. Um, this is the fridge that you're allowed to rent for the year through UCLA and it has um, a microwave attached to the fridge. In this little corner, we have a basket that I use for my throw pillows, which aren't actively on my bed. And then we have a cart with more snacks and just other essentials. Above our snack station, we have this huge blank wall. And you might be wondering why this wall is blank. It was actually intentional because we use it for some really fun projector movie nights. Thank you so much for watching and please definitely remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of really exciting videos coming soon.